present this Breed Love Discovery Concert guitar and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Now first of all I wanted to address the question um, of you know, what kind of player is this guitar aimed at? So in terms of price this guitar comes in at around 400 of your English pounds depending on um, where you look is something around that. Now for me that doesn't place this guitar in the bracket of a sort of uh, beginner's guitar necessarily at that price point. I think the majority of beginners would usually start with a guitar that's a little bit cheaper than that. So one of the important things to note about this guitar is it has what's referred to as a solid top. Now the top of a guitar is this bit here, right? Now with a solid top, this is all made from, from one piece of wood, as opposed to a laminate uh, or laminate top where you know it, it's made of different bits of wood glued or joined together. Now the reason we like a solid top is because it tends to be a lot more resonant, tends to just sound better because the sound you know, is, is resonating uh, from the sound hole out through a solid piece of wood as opposed to a laminate. So it tends to be not quite a nice kind of clear resonant sound. So with this guitar we have something coming in around £400 uh, with a solid top. Let's see what the rest of the spec is like. So first of all the body size, um, the lower bow here is, is slightly bigger, right? And that's just because Breedlove's concert series of guitar have that bigger bow at the bottom, presumably just to give you a bit more resonance and, and kind of clarity of sound. The top, as I talked about, is a Sitka spruce. Okay, so Sitka spruce top. Um, the back and sides are a type of mahogany, which I think is laminate. Um, and the neck is also a, a type of mahogany as well. And um, the, the fretboard is a, a, called a van call. I think it's a van call. I've probably got the pronunciation wrong, but it's very similar to, to a rosewood. So, so pretty standard, nice straightforward specs. There's no frills really, which I quite like. The, one more thing is you've got the uh, strings are strung through the bridge which I suppose just makes it a lot easier to restring the guitar, you have to worry about bridge pins. But that is basically it. I like it because it's no frills, you haven't got any elaborate pearl inlays or anything like that. And they can just focus on, you know, and they have been able to focus on the guitar, uh, you know, sounding good and playing really well. So how does it feel to play? Well, I mean, it's very easy to play, to be honest with you. Um, it's, the, the action's very favorable, you know, it's, it's nice and low, obviously without any fret buzz. It's in tune with itself, which I'm, big fan of. Possibly the only thing is it's very loud. It's a really, it's a really nice loud guitar. Now, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I just think if you've come from playing like a smaller body or one of those old sort of small classical guitars, this, this is probably going to feel quite, quite loud. So let's see what it sounds like, right? Loud guitar, it's really clear, it's really resonant, you can really get it to, to sort of open up. Then with fingers, it's really easy to play, you don't have to exert yourself straight out of the box to play, but it is really good. really responsive to play. Yeah, so just a really nice, resonant guitar, whatever you're doing, plays well and it's set up great. So this is, in my opinion, a quality guitar that offers a lot at this price point. Um, I think it's perfect for people who have maybe 
want to move on from their first guitar and looking you know to get something sort of a bit more substantial is going to last a bit longer i think this fits really fits that sort of bill um so yeah if you've got any questions about this guitar or the video uh, let me know otherwise i'll see you soon